No, I studied as a painter, then I moved into photography, and I wanted to be more involved. Like, I wanted to get more into that tactile nature. I wanted to get back into the work of painting, of, of actually touching the art. I tend to use a lot of mirrors. I use rhinestones. I use uh, paper, acrylic, leaves, flowers. Yeah, I do use a lot of mediums. The work for me dictates what that medium is going to be. I'm not just like grabbing things, right? Every single thing you see on the, in the surface is intentional. You know, growing up in a Hindu household, men had all the power. You know, men, you basically have to do whatever your father says, whatever your brothers say, you know, um, you have no autonomy. But there was a way that women found to have that autonomy. These women that I photograph and these stories that I tell embody this strength. That, that no matter what, they continue to persevere. So this series talks about these women who are the protectors of the land. When people come into the country and the resources are taken and there's nothing that's left to the people who actually have to live there. These women are there to maintain culture, to tell our stories. Really are they just like the protectors. We don't see a lot of brown bodies on walls, like brown people, black people, people of color in museums and galleries at all. And when you do see them, there are a lot of times they're in these victimized roles. I'm not doing that. I'm showing that there is something outside of whiteness that is beautiful, that is powerful, and that will continue to be there forever.